In this video, I want to take a moment and talk to you about the products that make up the FileMaker platform. With this information, you'll have a better understanding of what your options are for setting up and deploying FileMaker within your organization. Now, as you start to work out your strategy for your organization or business, you're going to want to think carefully about using the correct FileMaker tools to meet the specific needs of your team. So in this video, we're talking about the individual FileMaker products and how they fit together. So first off, we have FileMaker Pro, which has been historically the software that works on Mac and Windows. Now, with the release of FileMaker 17, they are not releasing a product called FileMaker Pro. They're just releasing a product called FileMaker Pro Advanced. And this is the standard client now for Mac and Windows. So in previous releases of the FileMaker platform, there was a separate installer for FileMaker Pro, a separate installer for FileMaker Pro Advanced. FileMaker has essentially combined these two together to create one client. So if you previously had FileMaker Pro on your computer, you're going to be using FileMaker Pro Advanced going forward. There is no FileMaker Pro, which is going to confuse some people. If you're new to the platform, I apologize for the confusion. This is kind of the way it is right now. So there is no basic version of Pro. All there is is the advanced version of Pro. So going forward, if you hear me refer to FileMaker Pro, that's simply shorthand for the name of the full client, which is FileMaker Pro Advanced in this release. So don't let it throw you. There's only one product here. So FileMaker Pro Advanced provides the most robust database access for heavy-duty users of a FileMaker solution. Now, why do I mention this? Well, there are other FileMaker clients besides FileMaker Pro Advanced that users can use to access their database. In my opinion, ProAdvance provides the absolute most robust client that someone can use. For example, FileMaker ProAdvance can run plugins. It can print. It can generate PDFs and emails. It's super important to understand that ProAdvanced is the development environment where you're going to build your FileMaker database or custom application. Now I'm gonna point out real quick, another terminology change or shift that you may have seen over the recent years. It used to be that when you built a file in FileMaker for your organization, it was called a template or a database. And then somewhere along the way, you'll hear the word solution. And then in the last several years, the hot word to use is custom application. Really, all these terms are the same, so don't let it throw you. Because I've been around so long, I've used all these terms and I tend to use all of them together depending upon the situation, but they all mean the same thing. Moving along, once you build a custom app, you're going to want to host it or share it with your team. To do this, you're gonna use one of two products. You're going to either use FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. Now, both FileMaker Server and Cloud are dedicated software that will host or share your FileMaker database on your local network or out on the internet. So if you have a mission critical database, especially one that you're sharing, then using FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud should be considered something that you really need to use. The FileMaker Server software is a software that runs on a Mac or a Windows computer. And that would be a computer that's then dedicated for that purpose. It becomes your quote unquote server. Now keep in mind this Mac or Windows computer can be installed in your local office or it could be installed up in a data center somewhere up on the internet. Now the FileMaker cloud software is specifically designed to run on Amazon's AWS infrastructure. Amazon has a number of data centers strategically placed around the world and you would use FileMaker cloud that would be installed on a server at the server location that's closest to you and your workers. So if you're in Europe, there are a number of options for you there in Ireland or in Germany. If you're in North America, there's an East and West Coast data centers. There's also Amazon data centers in Australia and Japan, etc. They are really all over the place. Now, keep in mind, as you set up FileMaker Cloud and FileMaker Server, you're going to want to set up encryption to encrypt your database, as well as encrypt the network traffic as it goes back and forth between your users and the server. So once again, understand that hosting, or sharing your FileMaker database with your team, you're going to have a choice of using FileMaker Server on Mac and Windows or the FileMaker Cloud software that only runs in Amazon's data centers. For most organizations, they're typically not going to run both of these. 
they're going to look at their IT staff, if they have any, and decide which software is a better fit for their needs. If you have no IT staff at all, or very minimal IT support, then you may want to look at using FileMaker Cloud, which requires very little maintenance to ensure that it runs correctly. Now moving forward, if you have users who are wanting to leverage an iPhone or an iPad, then the software they're going to want to use is FileMaker Go. FileMaker Go is a free download from Apple's App Store. FileMaker Go is not available for Android. FileMaker Go supports the built-in capabilities of these mobile devices, from signature capture, to barcode scanning, to image and or video capture, or even capture of GPS coordinates. FileMaker Go supports all these features as it runs on these iOS devices. The third way of connecting to a FileMaker database or custom application is to use a browser and the technology that is used is called WebDirect. WebDirect is part of FileMaker Server and it's also available on FileMaker Cloud. So once again, you can gain browser access for your team using WebDirect with either FileMaker Server or FileMaker Cloud. Now FileMaker WebDirect is tested and supports various releases of Android devices. Specifically, it will support the latest release of the Chrome browser that runs on these mobile devices. But FileMaker WebDirect will run on a wide variety of browsers, including browsers on Mac, on Windows, on the iPhone or iPad, as well as Android devices. Now, once again, as a reminder, there's no development or building of an application when using FileMaker Go or FileMaker WebDirect. Go and WebDirect are specifically usage tools. They're going to be the tools that your staff will use to find data, to read data, to input new data, to generate reports, to even print out reports. You can do all that with FileMaker Go WebDirect, but actually building the custom application, designing the layouts, writing the scripts that perform specific tasks for you, that's all done in FileMaker Pro Advanced. So for our users to connect and use a custom application, they have a choice of three different clients. Now there is a fourth way to connect to a FileMaker application that's being hosted on FileMaker Server or the cloud, and that is using the FileMaker Data API. Now previously this was done through XML or PHP, so if you're familiar with those technologies then you get the idea of talking to a database server and getting information out of it. These technologies are what you're going to want to use if you want to provide public access to your FileMaker data. This is also considered custom web publishing. Custom web publishing is very much a legitimate programming effort that goes into building and designing a HTML screen that can interact with the FileMaker server on the back end. So once again, that is for public access. If you have a team of users, even maybe contractors or other individuals who can be identified by your organization or by your team, then those people should be using FileMaker Pro, Go, or WebDirect. The licensing from FileMaker is very much targeted towards having identified users leverage those three different clients. If you have public access, then you're going to want to think about getting with a programmer to program PHP or HTML pages that can communicate directly to FileMaker server. Now there is one other capability in FileMaker that almost counts really as a separate technology. And what that's called is FileMaker's iOS app SDK, or what we call FIUS. FIUS is the technology that allows you to take a FileMaker custom application that you've built in FileMaker Pro Advanced, and you have set it up so it runs, it's optimized to work well with FileMaker Go. Once you have a custom app that's tested and running well in FileMaker Go, you can run it through the iOS app SDK to generate a runtime file of FileMaker Go, which then you can submit to Apple's App Store. Now keep in mind, FileMaker's intent with allowing you to do this is for you to easily build FileMaker Go applications that you can easily deploy out to a large organization. If you have a small organization of 5, 10, 20, 30 people, then probably this isn't something you want to mess with. But if you have several hundred users of FileMaker or a thousand users of FileMaker in a large organization, you might want to use the iOS app SDK to build an app 
which you load onto your company's own private iOS app store. So if you look at this overall, we have two different server options. We generally have three standard clients that we can use. Plus we have access to build public facing HTML pages that talk to FileMaker using the FileMaker data API. And lastly, there are provisions for taking a FileMaker application, running it through the FileMaker iOS app SDK, and then submitting it to Apple's App Store.